Good morning, good morning. So, uh, I saw an article on RT today that I thought I would uh, bring to your attention. Um, so, first off, where have I been? What have I been up to? Um, well, I haven't been doing the news. Uh, we served a seven-day suspension of the YouTube channel. Uh, because I showed you folks how to download uh, videos, essentially. I, I encouraged you to go download the videos from uh, Suspicious Observers. And, uh, yeah, I got a uh, community guideline strike for that. That's been long done and passed. And, uh, yeah, well, I said I wasn't going to be doing the nightly news anymore. And guess what? I'm not. Uh, I'll pop in and do a news story here and there when, um, well, when I feel it's relevant or when I feel the push to do so. Uh, other than that, the YouTubes, if you will, are inundated with a bunch of attention-seeking, uh, profit-driven drama queens, essentially, that masquerade themselves as the prepper community. And uh, I'm distancing myself. If um, if they want to take over the news, if they want to create the news, which is what many of them are trying to do, um, so be it. Let them. So I'm not going to be a part of it. I'm just not. Uh, if I'm burnt out on anything, it's the drama. So how many shortages never came to fruition how many end of the worlds never happen? And it's every day. And they continue to do it each and every day. The same people, the same channels. And, you know, it's interesting because they didn't used to do daily content. Not until COVID. Not until COVID and they started to turn their eyes a little more towards the news. And then all of a sudden, oh, they found something that they could tap into that would give them daily content, right? Because in order to um, make any money on YouTube now, you have to really, I mean, it's all about the numbers. And its you have to fight and claw for the numbers if you want to make m any money on YouTube. So that means making daily content. That means having the thumbnails, the titles, the... You know, I mean, it's it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world in the YouTube community right now when it comes to making content because they're all competing, and that's the idea. That's the idea. You will get, you will get an industry to destroy itself. All you have to do is offer up one morsel and make them compete for that one morsel, and you won't see people destroy each other fast enough. That's all they got to do, and that's what they've done. People have fallen for it. The people that are supposed to be awake, the people that, not woke, but the people that are supposed to be awake, the people that are supposed to be aware to all of this stuff for, that's going on, is actually helping them do it. And that's exactly what's happening. All of these channels, all of these individuals that are doing this stuff, is actually helping the powers that be achieve achieve their objectives. Think about that. That's pretty crazy. And they want to call themselves prepper channels. They want to call themselves, they want to consider themselves helping you when all they're trying to do is help themselves. And they don't care. They'll take you to the gates of hell and drop you off in front. If it means they're going to get a little bit ahead. That is today's prepping community. And for that I'm sorry. But I can't do nothing about it. All I can do is affect my space. And my space was becoming pretty unhappy. Because of all of the nonsense drama. Because of how every single news story was twisted and contorted to be the end of the world. And they continue to do so. You can't bring up wood gasification to any of them. You can't talk to them about how they're going to plant, harvest, and process enough food after the big SHTF. 
because they've already got all the answers, even though they've never sat down and thought about it themselves. Nobody else has told them they needed to worry about it, and what some schmuck with 5,000 subscribers on his channel know. Hmm. It couldn't be possibly that he did the numbers for himself and didn't rely on the numbers parroted by other people. No. Couldn't possibly be that. So, pardon me if I have the fuck em attitude. But, uh, eh, fuck em. So anyway, I'm here to do a news article. As you see it in front of you, soaring prices make finances worse for two-thirds of Americans, says a survey. Well, that's likely going to mean you and I. I've been saying for quite some time that what they are doing is pri pricing us out of living. That is what they're doing. When they talk about you own nothing and be happy, when they talk about how you will live in the pot and eat Z-bugs, it's because you will. Because they will drain you slowly. And how can they do that? Because nobody will stop them. Everybody's too busy fighting one another. You know, scratching and clawing and kicking for that one morsel that they've offered up. For the one person that can outdo everyone else. The Hunger Games, ladies and gentlemen. Whether you apply it to YouTube, whether you apply it to the food prices. That's exactly where we're headed. Kind of crazy, isn't it? So, let's take a little bit of a closer look here at this article. Soaring prices make finances worse for two-thirds of Americans, says a survey. The nearly two-thirds of U.S. households say their financial situation worsened last year, while one in five assessed their ability to meet payments as becoming much worse, according to an annual survey published by the Federal Reserve on Tuesday. The Fed's Economic Well-Being of U.S. Households report for 2023 focused on the financial lives of U.S. adults and their families showed that overall financial well-being was nearly unchanged from the previous year but was below the high recorded in 2021. Despite the moderating pace of inflation, many adults continued to indicate that higher prices were a challenge in managing their finances, the report reads. 2023, U.S. inflation cooled to 3.4% after hitting 9.1% in the previous year in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. As of last month, annual inflation was 3.4% according to the Consumer Price Index. That figure was a decline from 3.5% in March, but remained above the Fed's 2% target. The Fed committee seeks to achieve percentages over the longer run, the report added. According to the Fed survey, 72% of adults said they were doing the least okay financially. That figure marked a slight change compared to 73% in 2022. It was also down from the record high of 78% in 2021, but was above the low of 62% registered in 2013. The survey also revealed a major divergence among households. Around half of those polled could cover a $2,000 emergency expense, while 18% of adults said the largest emergency costs they could afford using only savings was under 100 bucks. 14% said they could handle an expense of up to $499. Overall, 17% 17, 17 of U.S. adults reported say they couldn't pay their monthly bills in full in the first month since the survey, which was carried out in October 2023, or in the month before the survey. So, talk a little bit about this, because... um. I just asked Jen, like, yesterday, the day before, hey, we got two bucks. I didn't know if we might have two bucks and change floating around somewhere, maybe two dollar bills, wow, right? Maybe that doesn't seem like a lot for the average person. 
But for us to have an extra two bucks just laying around, a little unlikely most of the time. So when they're talking about these $2,000 emergency expenses or the $500 ones or the $100 ones, they would sink us. I asked two bucks for two bucks because I was going to go get some gas for the lawnmower. Right? We run a tight ship. There's no two ways about it. And our ship is a little too tight now. <laughs> With all the increase in expenses and all of that stuff. Yeah, we're hurting. So, I can imagine. And, and we've been lean. Ever since we've been together, we live as lean as, as we can. Um, we actually got rid of Netflix like a couple weeks or so ago. Uh, I've had the Netflix account since 2016. And we got rid of it. For one, we needed to come up with a little extra scratch right then. But um, why? They never add any new stuff. And when they do, it's typically trash. So why? I, I watch TV when I go to bed at night. That's it. So, why? So, we got rid of that. That was like 25 bucks or 24 bucks, something like that, that we could add to our coffer. But, um, you know, everything's went up. Dog food, toilet paper, you name it. Everything's went up. So, even though I got rid of that 24 or $25 bill, that was eaten up by everything else that we normally have to buy on a monthly basis. So, I get it. I don't understand how a whole lot of people are getting by. I do know it's going to get worse because it's intended to. Again, you'll be damn happy to be in that pot, uh, pod and to eat the bugs. You'll be damn happy. All these prepper channels can sit here and tell you about how your prepping's going to save you from this and blah, 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 blah. Right. Good luck with that. Shalom.